Some say BMW went over the top with the 550 GT, which stands for Gran Turismo. But I say they may have really just redefined two critical automotive terms. First, let's start with GT, which means Gran Turismo, or translated into Big Trip. The whole idea was pretty much a car for two people and a lot of their stuff to take a long trip. But this car actually allows not only for that, but maybe perhaps three or four people. The other term is crossover. As we've talked about in the past, crossover is basically anything from a sedan to an SUV that kind of combines the, the nature of both of those vehicles, the characteristics of a sedan and an SUV. Well, this vehicle is 100% based on a sedan, so it's much more towards the sedan end of the spectrum versus the SUV end of the spectrum. What I mean by that is it's essentially a 7 Series underneath. It drives like a 7 Series, and that's actually a really good thing because it has a lot of room, it's a lot wider. Even though it starts with a 5, indicating it's a 5 Series, it's actually a 7 Series because it has that extra room. The GT is available in two models, the 535i and the 550i. The main difference being the engine, the 535 has a 3 liter twin turbo while the 550i has the 4.4 liter twin turbo. 300 horsepower on the 535, 400 horsepower on the 550. I was really surprised by how well the Gran Turismo handled and accelerated the 0 to 60 times on the 535, just over 6 seconds and just over 5.5 seconds for the 550i. However, these vehicles are quite heavy. About 4,600 pounds for the 535 and 4,950 pounds for the 550i. So very heavy vehicles, but because of the weight balance and because of these wonderful motors, BMW's twin turbo motors are tried and true. They've been around for about five years and they've really had a great service record and they've also performed. I mean, to get these kind of numbers out of a vehicle this heavy and to still get good fuel economy in the 18 to 20 mile per gallon range, it's pretty impressive. One of the important things to note is that this is the first application by BMW of the ZF 8-speed automatic transmission. I mean, automatic transmissions are just going, you know, 6, 7, 8-speed seems, seems to be coming more and more the norm. And what that gives you is at 60 miles per hour, you're humming along at 1,500 RPMs. And at 80 miles an hour, you're only at 2,000 RPMs. That's going to help you with fuel economy, obviously. And what I like about this transmission is it doesn't do a lot of that hunting and pecking to find that right gear, especially if you're cruising along about 30, 40 miles an hour and you punch it, you're not going to get this delay. Bangs it out right away and that's what you want. You don't want your gearbox to be searching for that right gear. You want it to already know and this thing is very intuitive. Now the wonderful thing about this car is the weight balance. It's almost exactly 50-50, which is amazing for a vehicle of this size. The primary reason to that is because it is basically a sedan. A lot of the crossovers you'll find won't have quite that weight distribution and that makes for a very good handling vehicle. Really kind of hate to admit it because I first looked at this car, I thought the styling was a little bit old, a little bit uh, Aztec-like as some other journalists have pointed out, but I think it, it kind of fits very well and it's a very comfortable vehicle, has a lot of room, especially in the back row. They really focused on the back row, wanted to make sure there was room for two adults. The back row has something called stadium seating, which lets you sit up, it actually sits up higher than the front row. And in the front seats, those sit up higher than a typical 7 Series. So everything about this car is all about helping people come down from an SUV into a sedan, but maybe kind of like a, an intermediate step into getting into that type of vehicle. So this vehicle has a two-piece tailgate. What that means is you can open it like a trunk, as you can see here, or opens up like a hatchback. So not too many sedans, including the 7 Series, that are big enough to put a bicycle or a surfboard, something a lot longer than you're used to taking in your usual sedan. Now pricing starts around $56,000 for the 535 and $63,000 for the 550. So although this vehicle has been much maligned by many of the critics out there because of the styling, I think it actually works. It's very versatile. At $56,000 you can get into a vehicle that has a lot of the characteristics of the 7 Series. So there you have it, the BMW 550 Gran Turismo. For more information, visit AutoTube, that's autotoob.com, and we'll see you next time.